Hi, my name is Ken Walther from Valley Aquatic Solutions and today we're going to talk about changing the feed tubes on the old style Stenner fixed speed pumps. This is a Stenner 45 gallon per day pump with a fixed head on it. I'm going to show you how to change the roller assembly. First of all, you're going to need a screwdriver to remove the screws that are holding the cover on. One on each side. Please note that we have screws holes here and actually there's every almost 60 degrees around the head there's another pair so if you strip these out you can't move your screws around still secure the head onto the cover onto the pump head. This simply comes off. Now this is the old style where it's a fixed speed. This is where it gets a little tricky because to remove the, the tubing. Now, I did want to remind you that there is possibly chemical in the tubing so please be careful that as we take this feed tube out we could have acid or bleach dripping out on our hands, clothing, floor, equipment, but underneath the, the chemical pump. So on the back of the pump you have an on off switch. We're going to have to jog this to remove the feed tube. Now this head, as you can see, turns towards me. So what I'm going to do is start to pull out the old feed tube. I want to line it up to, for these half circles. So I'm going to jog the motor a little bit. I missed it. There, it started. And what I'm going to do is, if I just turn the pump on, the head turns too fast, I can't keep, over, keep up with it as I pull out that feed tube. So what I'm going to do is jog it. See that? And get it out. Now I can totally remove the feed tube. Now I'm going to install the old feed tube. I'm sorry, install the new one. And just take this a little bigger one. The fatter they are, the harder they are to put in. So I slide it into the housing, the clip there, and again I got to get it to catch. Woo! And that, those sharp points on those rollers, I could almost could have ripped that feed tube. So that's why you have to be careful with this. And this is why you're jogging the motor. See how I'm doing that? Working it around. It gets towards the bottom now. Now notice it doesn't line up. So what you need to do instead of just pulling the feed tube and plopping it into place, and if I do that, I'm stretching just here. I want to run it a little bit. I let the whole feed tube stretch out, hopefully. And slide it into place. Please reinstall the cover. And here's a little secret we put the cover on. Your screws. These are self-tapping screws. So when I put them in, instead of tightening them up, I actually want to loosen them up and then you'll feel it drop in the thread like it just did there. Now tighten them up because if I just tighten them up every single time since they're self-tapping I'm going to actually chew out the threading in that plastic housing and eventually not be able to tighten it anymore. Please be sure to, re to install so I'm going to turn it, unscrew it, I felt it drop in, now I tighten it up. Please install these screws every time so the lid's on secure, because if you don't have the lid on, I have seen feed tubes without covers walk out of the pump. Thank you for watching this video, and stay tuned for more additional instructional videos from Valley Aquatic Solutions.